remember, we have seen in the LPL where the Galio has played, been played support, and the Nautilus, as of course we talked about, is still there. Let's hop sort of objective fights when you do have... Like, we're looking at the comps, right? And we see Jarvan Zoe on one side and Graves Galio on the other. FPX definitely more item reliant. I'm going to have to pause you again, Larry. Khan's in so much trouble. Chain Lash comes through, but outside of the invisibility, the flag and drag should be an easy secure, but he's waiting for the flash to burn at Khan. The damage comes through. XX randomly oh. flashes us. Khan, that was a bit of a whoopsie to give first blood over to XX. It has been spotted out by this. I don't believe he has, but there's a control ward down here. Now, it's a bit of a game of cat and mouse. There's Dwan and Light. There is Gravitum available. There's a good little Shield of Durant comes through. Or rather, Shield of Daybreak, I should say. Chris has to flash away. Light goes on top Ooh. of him as well. And here comes Galio, but it's a little bit too late. Chris is dead. Dwan at half health. It's a one-for-one -one trade, but the teleport was cancelled up by Khan. I think they should have let him come in to die. Is Doomy going to go for the re-engage? The Winds of War, the damage is there. It's just like Galio from game number two, but Doomy can't secure so the... Dragon. Okay. Yeah. The safer of the two options. What do we roll? Infernal, unfortunately, is Tien has found himself to one, and Chris walks past the turret, forcing the LNG bottom lane off while Doombi was ready to roam down as well. The threat from the Galio that you talked about, Shield Duran's going to come on in as that is a trouble bubble that needs to be avoided. Doombi flashes away. LNG moving their bottom line as well. Duan comes in with the Soul's Flare. The Justice Punch skips past him. But Chris is by himself until Doombi makes the re-engage, but only hits one. FBX have walked into an unfavorable situation, but down goes the AD carry first and continues forward for LNG. XX picks up TN and Chris and LWX have to leave now. Maple flashes and hits the goalpost as Chris wants to sacrifice his life and try and kill Duan in the process. But LWX... The arcane shift away from the flag and drag. Still chasing up the troll bubble there. Cleansed away from. Oh, that's, uh, that's very true. Great supports. But uh, going on in this game, I expect LNG to not get caught out. That's Juan. He absorbs damage again while, okay, Chris, bit too far forward. Trisha Mirage hits another goal post. There's a Felios, sends some shurikens, XX into the back line. Cataclysm's there. He's a bit too far forward. There's another stopwatch has been used. Teleport there from Doombi to get on out, rather, the hero's entrance as cards in the middle, too. FBX are kind of inting this one. They've lost two. A third about to come through as Chenlin steals away the hero's entrance, and they have no health bars. Chris against the turret, Tien gets trouble bubbled while the rest of LNG jump on. Doombi takes down Duan with the shield of Duran and almost coming through. Light survives. A hilarious... We actually see Doombi go for a taunt on the other side, which just ends to Light getting a free kill. Well, uh, Maple hitting some key moments as well as Light at the end of that fight. Two kills on the Aphelios here, one on the Zoe. He sort of reacted because, let's remember, FPX were the ones trying to set up a dive by. Yeah. We're a bit over-aggressive. Now, oh, there's a Solar Flare. Forward he goes. There's the Ignite down, and Maple's going to get the kill. Now, Dwan trades his life, but at this point, giving Maple more kills is still a threat. He just called FPX over-aggressive, and then Dwan, then Dwan <laughs> goes. And overall, going back, FPX was trying to force a dive on bot, and LNG capitalizing. Oh, but flash over the wall. Shield of Duran's here. They've actually found Maple, who will use the stopwatch in the nick of time. The ultimate to follow through, but Doombi doesn't hit anyone, while LNG are kiting back, but not... Quick enough. Light has some good range here with the Moonlight Vigil as XX manages to get out, but only just until Tien walks forward, end of the line, doesn't connect. While Light, underneath the turret, will die to Khan. FPX do find a little bit more this time around. Light does not have flash. He is in mobile AD carry, so that's something really important to keep our eye on. LWX. Oop, but Chris, bit too far forward. Instead, he doesn't care. He's going onto Light all in, but he's stuck in the middle before Doombi can get the hero's entrance, but instead, Khan shuts us up right into the back line, but Chenlon is doing his dirty work once again. The full health Silas is damn fed, as you said, Lyric. And now Doombi has to deal with him. On top, the Kingslayer needed to heal him up, and he gets it. A triple kill for the new top laner of LNG. And Chenlon dealing this damage for them to come out ahead. He goes down early. Chenlon plays great. We see all the healing coming out from his W. Now LNG are on... Play here. This game, 22 minutes in, on the verge of a Cloud Soul here for LNG in three and a half minutes. Baron sitting up there waiting. Notice the items that were picked up after the fight as well as we got solid kill territory. Khan is going to get altered by Doombi. A double knock up onto Chenlin as he gets exhausted away. Everyone chasing as the Shield of Duran does connect and he goes down. FBX with a massive pick for this game while XX somehow got low. Flash Shield of Duran. Doombi locks onto target as Tien chases up at Maple. And down goes to Galio as 
Duan will follow up yet again. The Solar Flare on top of Chris. XX still damn low as LWX wants to turn this around, but Light still alive. Down bottom, we look towards Maple, challenging two players. He comes in with the Paddle Star, almost takes down TN. Which has been all about these team fights. It's kind of funny because game one was very much poke out and never get it. Poke a, and pick. No yeah. team fight to be seen. And then game two and three has been all team fight galore. Seems like we're on the cusp of another one starting. Look at the pings coming down. Chen Lun is making his way in and Dilby has to crash tackle him at this point. Abscond of Duck, but Chen Lun is caught out by himself. The hero's entrance lands on top of him and that's a mistake by the LNG top laner. Chris absorbs the damage from XX while the rest of the team comes on in. But remember, Light and Maple are still alive as ultimate collateral damage to Ignite doesn't kill him. But Ezreal does. Two big picks against LNG. Dilby, I love how you just gave me the fresh, breath of fresh air here, Lyric. 4k here in front of the pit, but someone needs to get in. Tien over the wall, uses the Yomus. Still Ooh. not there. It's a kill by Maple, as now it's a Cloud Soul on top of LNG. And they've already lost LWX on the side of FBX. XX now getting bursted out, but look how split up they are. Light still survives, and they threw everything in the kitchen sink, but FBX just got wiped. I just want to know what happened. Did F did LWX out of nowhere? But it just exploded out of nowhere, especially with LWX going down. Baron. The push has been coming fast. Light now moves up to the turret. This is gone. There's no way FBX defend it. Uh, exactly. That's what it feels that's like. That's what it is. And Light, once again, does not have his flash. So if you can get on him, there's some hope. But Maple's been playing these team fights so well. Even if you take down Light, you have Chen Lun and Maple to deal with. He's sticking Maple onto the mid lane right now. And Blades doesn't quite have the afro anymore, but. It's a shame. As Trouble Bubble goes wide, but not for the turret. Khan. Oh. This is the game ending play if he can get it, but LNG could turn this around. In comes Khan. Blind. He knocks up to light as the hero's entrance finds Mark as well. Doombies into the middle, but I don't think they have the damage at this point. LNG has sent in the Jarvan while light starts hitting away into the back line. Maple's doing the same, and they're too far behind. The Hail Mary was not found as Doomy gets ignited. He's trying to deep me out, but Light won't let him. Forward they go, and the upset to start the split off here for the LPL is LNG taking down the 2019 World Champions. And all three carries of LNG showing up so well. Chen Lun with almost no experience playing so well on the Silas and Maple and Light just doing well to kite out Khan in that Hail Mary. You wanted to see Maple with a stable performance. Well, there it is. That's what brought LNG those games two and three. The team that we didn't expect to be bowing at the end of the day versus the...